Hi guys, it's Shishka Barber one coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. So today's video, guys, is a wrap-up of the tribal mega crab and a discussion of the new um, of the new meta because we got new tribals. So uh, let's take it one one step at a time. I'll talk about the crab. So uh, first off, for me, obviously, I got the diamond trophy, so that's cool. Uh, this crab, like, like many other people have been saying, was more difficult than the last one, without a doubt. Um, partly because the bonus to the tribal health was, or I'm sorry, to the to the warrior health did absolutely nothing. So so that that was a joke. But maybe that's why they call it the tribal crab and not the warrior crab because they already knew we weren't going to use warriors because it was all about the the uh, GBE uh, regen tribal getting eight GBE per structure destroyed instead of three. That made a difference. So uh, in fact, that's also why I switched my statues to uh, three five two. 3 GBE, 5 damage, 2, um, two troop health. I haven't switched back yet. I will very soon. I've already got the GBE statues waiting um, in my storage, but still having fun with it right now. Um, where, do, where do we end up? Let's see. Uh, we are, uh, I think, 19 in Canada. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, 19th in Canada. Uh, let's start at the top, though. Crazy Turtle, congratulations, sir. Uh, you... You had a tough, you had a close call there. If you see, um, move my face over here, I guess. Uh, I saw that Allen 20 guy was like actually above you at the end, so you must have pushed really hard just to squeak him out. I don't know who he is. Uh, maybe, we, maybe we do, I just don't recognize the name, but uh, he gave you a run for your money, but you prevailed. Uh, so Crazy Turtle, Allen 20, whoever you are, great job. Uh, Turtle, which of course is the same guy, Crazy Turtle. And then R. Mezzo, man, congratulations. I have my eye on you. I knew you're going to be doing very well on this Mega Crab also. Uh, beyond that, there's people I don't really recognize. Um, I mean, there's common names that I see here a lot. The Legro, Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I see you guys on there a lot. There I am at 19. And oh, who's at 26? The Chicken. Always beat the chicken, guys. Hashtag always beat the chicken. Okay, anyway, enough about that. Let's close this, put my face over there. Um, now, uh, bottom line, I think I think that crab was a bit tough. It was a bit rough. Uh, I was running still TGM, but TGM 422 mainly. Uh, switching up different things here and there, but... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I hope we have a more interesting crab next time where the bonuses actually are good. The, uh, the what was that? Super Warrior, they're, they're pretty fun. They, they were neat. They're fun to have, but it didn't really give it a good feel. It was kind of a classic crab feel, which, which in and of itself was pretty good too. Okay, getting into these tribals now, guys. So, uh, the, the big star of the show, obviously, is Spirit Dancer Tribe over here. Spirit Dancer Tribe has given us artillery energy cost reduction of minus 60%. This makes artilleries really freaking cheap. So just art, 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 maybe a barrage, and then art, 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 art. So that, that's that's basically what that means. Um, flamethrower health, well, okay. I mean, we're gonna have to put our rock crystal somewhere. It's not horrible. It just means it takes them longer to kill our flamethrowers. Okay, bit of a deterrent to RZCM because um, RZCM obviously has trouble with flamethrowers. Of course, nothing that a med kit can't solve, or a shot, or an artillery even, because <laughs> they're really cheap, right? But anyway, we have to put the crystal somewhere. Um, shock Blaster 2 damage. This is interesting. Um, it's going to be plus 50% when it's already done. That actually nets out to more damage than a Shock Blaster 3. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Um, shock Blaster 2 has 647 DPS, whereas a Shock Blaster 3 has 896. So it's definitely a little bit more than what the Shock Blaster 3 will give you by about, I don't know, by about 30 DPS or so, but you're losing 5,000 health. Shock Blaster 3 has 25k health, Shock Blaster 2 has 20k health. Uh, I guess if you really want to save on prototype parts, maybe that's a reason to use it, but honestly, I don't think so. Because, again, artillery is cheap, and if you've got a Shock Blaster 2 out, it's more easy to die than a Shock Blaster 3. I, I don't know. Maybe there's a reason to boost it, but I don't see it. Um, flare Duration. Yeah, uh, this guy. It'll get up to another 50% uh, increased flare time. I don't know about this, guys. I can see situations where it's good, but I have a feeling there could be times when it's bad. 
uh, times when you want flares to expire, uh, especially if you're doing a type of a drop like in PvP, uh, let, let's say it's a Zank style attack where you've got seven tanks and one Zooka and your tanks clear everything out and then you want to bring your Zookas in at the end. Well, you know, maybe you did a reflare a while ago and you're going to drop your Zookas, but that reflare is still there. Then you're going to have to spend another flare just to get the Zookas to go where you want, but then that flare is also going to move your tanks. I, I, I can see problems with this. I oftentimes don't run into the issue of wishing my flares lasted longer. Um, even when I'm flaring all the way across like a big operation map, unless I've got all the same troop type that moves at the same speed, I never flare all the way across the map because the troops get separated too much. So uh, I haven't put any, any crystals into it. Um, Medic speed plus 50 on Ember Fairy Tribe. This is the sleeper. Um, it might be really good. I'm still testing it out. It's, uh, I'll tell you what, I've been running like Bullet's Best TGM 152 with it just to kind of get a feel for it. And uh, the medics are great. In fact, the medics are too good, let me tell you, because, because they can run all over the place much faster. They can actually get shot more easily. I've noticed that with the, <laughs> with the TGM. Um, just started running a little bit of RZCM with it, and I think it's going to be really, really strong for RZCM. Uh, because you've got troops everywhere, right, with RZCM, and now your medics, they can run all over the place and actually facilitate them more quickly. With RZCM, because the troops are everywhere, the medics are less likely to get picked off as they are in a TGM combo. Uh, I think it's really good. Definitely want to put your crystals into there. I don't know how good it is yet. We're going to keep testing and I'll let you know. Uh, and because we got to put crystal somewhere, guys, you know what? I dumped it into a uh, resource production because I just didn't see it for flare duration and I didn't see it for shock blaster too. I can always dump. I need to always dump at least uh, five tribes worth of crystals. I can always do six if I want to. Otherwise, I just overflow and it's a waste. So it had to go there. Why did it go there? Well, two reasons. The primary reason is gold, okay? I'll take all the gold I can get. I have a feeling this tribal is going to be tougher than the last ones we've gone through. I know it is. So uh, gold's going to be more short in the economy of the archipelago. Therefore, we need to be producing a bit more on our, on our own side. On top of that, the other resources themselves, uh, wood, stone, and iron, those are going to also going to be beneficial to just acquiring more raw crystals. So in a sense, it sort of pays for itself. I know it doesn't, but it kind of recuperates its own cost and it gives us gold. Therefore, eh, it's not half bad considering everything else that we got. I guess that's about it. I don't know if I'm missing anything, but uh, we're going to jump into one live hit and uh, wrap this up for you. Uh, it's, I've only got one base on the map. Newer, Nower, whatever the heck this guy's name is. Um, I was just looking at him a little bit ago. I did not mark him. He's like a 11072 or something like that. Let's take a look. He's a he's a 102. Oh no, he's a 102 104. Okay. Uh, doing this on boosted, still rocking 352. I don't even know why I'm writing this down. It was 102 104, right? Yeah. Okay. Still rocking the 352 statue setup. So we're really short on GBE. Um, gonna go in with the RZCM. Uh, artillerys are cheap guys and uh, so I think with this base though I think we're gonna be able to crack it because he made he made a fatal mistake like obviously we want to get the shield gen down and obviously we don't like rockets all three of those things are together guess what we're gonna do we're gonna smoke our way back there and take them all out that means we only need to worry about taking out this rocket we need to keep an eye on the doom cannon and uh, it's about it right because he's got a doom cannon and two shield gens one back here one up here this one we'll get to when we get there. Uh, so for this rocket, the question is, do we do all artillery? He's got a lot of stuff overlapping. Well, he's got this overlapping and he's got this overlapping. And I think we do one barrage and then just a series of artillery to see where that gets us. I think that'll still be cheaper. Actually, I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't done all the math yet. The problem is I'm gonna start with like 95 GBE. So smoking to the back is gonna be a bit tricky. 91 GBE. Maybe, maybe we should just smoke to the back. Why don't we just do that? We'll smoke to the back, gather some GBE, keep stuff under shock, and then we'll take it out. I think we can do that. That makes a bit more sense. Okay, well, the beach is not hot because all of his rockets are way in the back, so we'll do our staggered drop. All right. Oh, I've changed my troop load up. My, troop, my boats are in a little bit of a different position than usual. Not that you notice or care, but I notice. Okay. All right, get the rifles going. Get the medics out there. And the really quick cryos. All right, good enough. You know, I didn't really see where I was going to flare to. I think we're going to flare, like, over here. 
Okay. Now it's a little bit hard to see them through the trees. That's what makes it fun. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Okay, especially with these stupid glasses. Okay, do a double smoke. Still got 51 GBE. I think we're okay. We might peek in the back. I'm going to put one more smoke in the back. Do a flare. Get everybody up there. Critter swarm. Shock in hand. And we'll get our shocks going. Shock in the shocks. Shock in the doom cannon. I did not get the uh, the other rocket. Man. Okay, okay. Well, anyway. We need, we need to worry about the other rocket. We'll get it. Let's put some critters out. We'll get it in a second. Just a bunch of artillery. Okay, rocket's down. I really don't want to fail for you guys, but I might. Give me a shock. Yeah, we don't have the same GBE like we used to, huh? Oh, that Doom Cannon's going to wreck us. Get the Doom Cannon down, guys. Get it down. Get it down now. Uh, Critter Swarm. We're still okay. Um, need to get a shock coming up real, real soon. Maybe a heal. Actually, we're not okay. Troop levels are dangerously low. Okay. Might have to give this another go. Yeah, the game got harder, guys. It's been too easy recently. Um, okay, well, there, there, there were a series of mistakes. Uh, we're going to try. I'm not giving up yet. Let's put a shock over here. We might pull this out, guys. I don't think so, but we really need that shield gen to go down, which would probably require a flaring on it. Let's see, let's see what that does. The mortar is going to just probably kill us, that and or the shock launcher. Or the boom cannon. There's many things that can kill us, guys. But we got the shields down. Not quite ready to throw in the towel yet. We got Cryo standing in front of the Zookas, which will help shield them from uh, boom cannons and stuff. The, uh, the Zookas can survive a shock blaster shot, and we've got our healers with 50% healing. The question is, if the Cryos go down, things get really bad. Okay, they're kind of like our last line of defense for the Zookas. So, we're going we're gonna to play this. We're going to wait this one out because there's still a chance we're going to get it. It's just a matter of getting enough critters out there and having at least one cryo standing. I think we're going to get it, guys. Look at this. Wow, I can't believe we got it. But we did. <laughs> Boom! Just like that, guys. Pure, pure professional style. <laughs> Newer, nower, whatever the heck his name is. Goes down to Pound Town, guys. 3311 RZCM in the new tribal, rocking our cheap artillery. Uh, still rocking our 352 statue lineup. There you go, guys. There's an unboosted hit. A little, little bit of love for you guys, a little bit of action. Um, but I think that's it, because everything else is dead on my map. So uh, let, let me know uh, in the comments below how you, uh, what you thought about this Mega Crab. Um, maybe even what you'd like to see for the next Mega Crab. I think for me, I would like to just see something interesting. Honestly, I'd like to see the Hasty Crab again. The Hasty Crab was the best crab. Um, other than that, I think if we had some worthwhile uh, bonuses or, I don't know, just something new, some kind of a gimmick, like a gimmick that, that makes it matter because I just don't like doing the same attack over and over again. I, I don't know. Um, something that changes, I, I don't know. But, but it's fun. I enjoy the Mega Crab. Honestly, it's kind of my... Um, kind of my favorite part of the game. Like, we're, I'm getting more involved in higher, le higher level operations, which is cool, but uh, I'm as bad as OP now, not wrapping up the video. But no, honestly, I think Mega Crab's great. I also plan to um, do some more statue swapping again. I'm going to change around the, um, well, basically the, my inventory. Before, I was saving a bunch of PSC statues and stuff like that because I thought I was going to do, like, a real push. But until they get magic accounts fixed, I, I don't see the point, to be honest. And um, so I just... Just threw them all out, you know? I had like two or three 30% Guardians. I had one 73% um, Masterpiece, almost 75, close on. Anyway, whatever. Boom, gone, trash. Because we don't need it till Supercell fixes it. So what that means is we can start swapping statues more for Mega Crab. So keep that in mind with your statue storage. In fact, let me know what you're doing with your statue storage and what kind of junk you put in there and why. I actually do care, believe it or not, because I just wonder how people are approaching that strategy. But anyway, 
we're gonna wrap that up. Thank you so much for watching. Hope, you, as always, I hope you have a super fantastic, awesome day, guys. And remember, be kind to others, because if you're not, you're just being mean, and mean people suck. Have a great day.